Ladies, gentlemen, and everything in between, it's me, Sage XP, your mother's favorite YouTuber. And today I have something a bit different for you guys. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about five different types of players in DPFC. Now, this list is not exhaustive in any way at all, but please feel free to let me know in the comments if you think there is a type of player that should have been included in this video that is not in the video. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to let you know that only a small portion of people who currently watch my videos are actually subscribed. So make sure to go ahead and subscribe to me as this will go a long way and will help me out a lot. Also, make sure to leave a like as well as this is the most important metric in the YouTube algorithm. If you don't, I'll become your stepdad. Thanks a bunch. Now with that out of the way, let's jump straight into the video. Dragon Ball Fighters has been out for over four years now and it has been a huge success with over 8 million copies sold. With such a large player base, it's inevitable that you'll run into certain types of players in the game. Whether that be in ranked matches or ring matches, you will see these players and I'm here to educate you on them, so let's do this. Number one, neutralists. You may not have heard of them, but you've definitely seen them. Have you ever chased an opponent around the map while they hit you with a barrage of key blasts? Of course you have. Chances are that this person is a neutralist, but how can we be sure? To identify a neutralist, look for base Vegeta. These guys love using base Vegeta. They just love the jump key blast. They can't get enough of it. They love it. Now, if this key blast hits, they will vanish confirm your whole family tree into nothingness. It's not unusual to see Piccolo A assist lurking as well. So, you know, extra pain. Moving on, number two, Toxics. I like to call these the loud minority in DBFC. The trash talkers, the fake intellectuals, take your pick. Now, we have all been in a party with a toxic player and it can either be really really entertaining or really 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 annoying. I'm not sure about PS4 and PC but on Xbox they tend to be from the east coast but I have seen a few from the UK. Now these guys have so much to say but are usually nowhere near as good as they think they are at the game. They do however have the ability to contaminate others and turn entire parties into nothing but hostile ape screeching so that's fun. Another key feature of a toxic DBFC player is that they tend to make excuses and hyper critique the way that you play even if they are getting bodied. Sound familiar? Of course it does. Anyways, number three, mashers. Now, this one isn't limited to just DBFC. Every game has this type of player without fail. Do you want to know how to become a masher, how they play? Okay, let me teach you right now. Take your controller and repeatedly headbutt light auto combo. That's it. Remove all buttons except X or square. Yes, that includes your stick and D-pad. You won't be needing those. Seriously though, in lag, these guys are the worst. They have no idea about turn taking. They play triple C assist. They are literally incapable of blocking and will almost always play a team like this. Number four, mixers. All I have to say about mixers is block string, 50-50, B&B combo, slide and knock down, repeat. I don't know why, but mixers literally get rock hard from making you guess. If you give them too much momentum, your team will crumble. At the same time, they want you to waste your spark to escape the overwhelming pressure. It's not a nice situation, but it's definitely not all doom and gloom either. Fighting against mixers will 100% guaranteed build your defense to godly levels, so there's always that. And when it comes to fighting mixers, they will definitely have high block stun assists on their team, so make sure to take them out first if you want to win. Now last but not least, number five, lab monsters. Have you ever seen a combo that you just could not comprehend? Chances are that you are fighting against a lab monster. Now these guys live in training mode, and each time you fight them, you will see something crazy. They will humble you with your own character just for fun. They are devious, evil creatures. A lot of people nowadays in DBFZ consider themselves lab monsters, but true lab monsters are a rarity. Most people tend to steal other people's tech and being able to do a difficult or saucy combo doesn't necessarily make you a lab monster. Being original makes you a lab monster. Anyways, yeah, if you want more videos like this, then yeah, just let me know and I'll, I'll, I might do some. So yeah, thanks for attending my TED talk. Peace.